Hi right, guys, uh, Jay here for another uh, FFPE video. Uh, this time we're doing the Great Explosion Festival. Now it's weird, I know what to do here, but I've died a few times trying to make this video, so this is going to be a tough fight. Uh, for me to figure it out, it took me a few days, like 20 tries. It's just I had to keep tweaking my team, tweaking my espers uh, to do the most damage I could while maintaining survivability. All right. So we're gonna need a free of your friend. I'm only doing three of the four achievements, mainly because I was sick of going through my friends list to see if they have a fire weapon, and uh, make sure they they are not debuff on any of the fire, ice, or lightning. So yeah, it was annoying searching through my friends list. So I decided to go with Fravia because Fravia deals ice damage and most of the time they're the Esper on them do not debuff them the uh, fire ice and uh, lightning so uh, check your whole party make sure everyone has at least 70% lightning uh sorry not 70 30% lightning they get it from uh, Esper's or uh, Rubber Suit. Okay, everybody is going to have a role, you'll see in the party. Uh, Garnet's mainly going to uh, Eccentric, um, Bill Esper Gage, or um, Bushido Freedom in the party, very important. They're just going to buff. Fire Ice Lightning, Cloud is going to do uh, damage. Uh, very important that Orlando has Carbunco and that you maybe you have to reset your Espers to, lar, uh, to learn Barth and Daga. Maybe you have to reset your Ifrit to learn Blazing Evocation. Very important, without those two, you might not do enough damage. So placing evocation, that's 50%, another 50%, 100% damage to his um, Esper move. Very important. Without it, I got him down to like a couple of percentage, and I got then I got wiped. And Fravor's gonna chain. Now she's gonna die quite a bit. Because she, unlike my party, I can't equip Thunder equipment on her. So we'll just have to raise her. Um, serious uh, needs. A lot of uh, HP, he's very squishy. One hit and he's goner. Um, Garnet with a lot of evil and Bushido Freedom. Make sure that Ifri has Blazing Evocation learned. Uh, lots of Demon Killer. Uh, boost to a Double Hand. Curse Mouthpiece, that's also Demon Killer. I have the Esper on her, Diablos, another demon killer, Warrior Light, pretty straightforward, straight uh, fully evade build, um, Orlando, uh, Ice Chain with Ravia. Okay, now we don't want to chain them too fast, because we need time for um, the Esper Gauge to fill, and Cloud's Limit Burst to fill. Okay, that's a really bad start. Warrior Light didn't do his job to cover. Okay, what do we need to do? Okay, let's just uh, raise. 
We can't use the other three because their rollers fill. They absolutely need the cover. We absolutely need um, Arthandaga. We need to uh, dual cast. Fire and ice. We're gonna aggro the lightning guy with fish scale. Okay, I was lucky I survived. Some, uh, even though they're imperiled, they have some um, lightning and they have some resistance on them. Try to get as high as you can fire, ice, and lightning. Okay, so what are we going to do? We got off to a bad start. If they killed off Garnet, I was not expecting that. So I'm gonna kill off this small mob. We're gonna have to recover here. Usually I'll be casting Eccentric or feeling the Esper Gauge now. Okay. The Heart of Light is going to heal us next turn. Okay, Cloud is going to Clem Hazard, the fire, the ice. Because he has a fire weapon on. Orlando has an ice weapon on. So I'm going to do ice damage. Okay, so the problem with these little guys is they cast Imperil on us. Any Imperil is really bad for us. So always check your Imperil. Yeah, we're not going to survive if we have Imperil on us. Warrior Light and Sirius is Imperil. So we have to Bushido Freedom ourselves again. Okay, the debuffs are gone. Now we have to reapply all the buffs again. We need a lightning buff from Orlando. We're gonna kill off this mob. mob. Only guy left is Cloud. So I'm just going to Klim Hazard. Or I could use an Elixir. On Warrior Light. Yeah, let's take it slowly and safely. Darn, I'm in peril again. I'm not really getting a chance to attack. So again. You just have to, uh, every anytime you're in peril, you have to uh, target your party again. And then recast. Ice, fire. Oops, fire, thunder. I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna aggro with fish scale. Now, Freeva is going to be dead for sure because she doesn't have 30% resistance. Um, Orlando is going to give 70% resistant only to Freeva, so he doesn't have full lightning resist. But in the meantime, I can damage him some.
Because raised. Now, good thing is we have a free turn now. Because for once, uh, they didn't raise a small mob to imperil us. So with a three t free turn, make sure your buff is still the cover buff. I'm going to debuff them. I'm going to heal Heart of Light. So the dad bomb, I'm gonna climb hazard. I'm trying to get as close to 60% as you can. Don't go over, if you go over, big trouble. I would say between 60 and 70%. Again, Fravia has a survive a critical hit. Very important. Because when you re-race Fravia, she loses her um, buffs from Sirius. Is anyone in peril? Oh, thank goodness no one's in peril. Let's kill off this small guy. Uh, Warrior Light can cast em Embolden. Esper Gauge is filled. The only thing that's not filled is Cloud's LB Gauge. Let's cast some Eccentric. Oh, serious? Uh, let me see. I better just Elixir Fravia. Dad bomb, Clem Hazard. Wow, that was a very powerful hit. That's okay, we're still alive. Our buffs are gone, so we just have to do a cast uh, Ice and Fire. Remember when you push you to freedom or someone dies, you have to put this buff back up. I probably forgot it last turn, that's why. And the good thing is, he gave us some mercy, he didn't summon one of the little minions. Loud. I think. Don't need some Esper Gauge Crystals. Okay, it's full. It should be done next turn. Um, cover. Make sure cover is always up. It expired. And if you have a chance, then you can do Embolden or Army Eraser. Okay, we have no thunder resistance right now. All right, let's go for the kill. Um, this guy first before we summon the Esper. Okay, before we go for the kill, make sure it's debuffed. It's our attack. Our attacks are. Our attack buff is still up. Well, Fravia died, right? So she lost her attack buff. So I'll have to embolden again. Okay, defense. We got buff. I, I think it's, we're good to go. Okay. Was well, serious. We have no way to destroy this guy, but we better protect ourselves with uh, 
Or some Jaga. Okay, here we go. Hellfire damage. Again, make sure you have um blazing evocation learn through the training skills, or you won't do enough damage. Uh, Cloud's gonna Omni Slash. So I'm like cast Cloud, count to three, Garnet. One, two, three. See? And that's it. You can't really harm us because we have a 100% lightning resist. We're just going to aggro him so he explodes. Just use fish scale. I mean, anything to protect us, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't even have anything. And that's the fight. You can see how much problem um, it causes if a hit gets through and kills one of your guys. Bravia is very nice because her ability to escape a critical hit death lets her live uh, maybe a few more turns. So again, I got the uh, I got the three as usual. I didn't get this because I couldn't find a friend with a fire weapon and uh, non debuffs on fire, ice, and lightning. Finding a free your friend took some time. I had to keep on refreshing my friends list to find a free your friend. Remember the keys? Reset your espers. If free needs a uh, blazing evocation times two. Uh, Carbunco needs bar thundaga. Uh, very important. Bushido freedom from Gilgamesh from Garnet to dispel the team. And then once you dispel the team, then get rid of the imperil. You can get 100% fire and ice from uh, if free and Shiva. No, no, sorry. You can get a fire from from his uh, magic bar fire raga and bar lazaga, 100%, and 70% lightning from Orlando. and a cover tank from cover evade tank from Warrior Light. On the off turns, you can reduce armor and cast the Bowden to boost your attack. Otherwise, you might not have enough uh, DPS to finish them all. And Klaus is being Klaus, limit burst with fire weapon. Uh, very important um, that you don't get him past 60% or he'll drain all your mana and he'll summon a lot more mobs. Bring items like fish scale to aggro the lightning uh, mob. Elixirs um, to heal your party members. Scroll that rejuvenation just in case you accidentally get him past 60%. You can uh, recover some magic, but I think at that point it's too late because he starts to summon uh, too many mobs and uh, you won't be able to recover from that. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have time. You can click the Riku icon and click subscribe to support the channel. Alright, thanks. See you later.